I've learned a lot over the four decades of health and fitness and being in the trenches with the greatest in the world. And one of those things I've learned a lot more about and how to build better muscle is nutrition and how it has changed over the decades. And that's why I have the Titan meal plan for you guys out there that are confused about nutrition. I'm going to set you straight. Get a hold of me today. The link will be in the comments down below for you guys. Everybody, get over to the Titan Meal Plan, and I'll see you in the Titan Crew, where I will fine-tune any difficulties that you're having. I'm glad you're here, people. I'm sure I mean, we've been talking about this forever. But the point of view of this is how can we help uh, social media? Because uh, we're some old school guys, especially you and me, Clark, that, that uh, we were in the trenches. Um, we had to win, not just compete. And we had to win to be in the magazines, and then that's where the information was spread out from the guys that were winning in the trenches and doing it for a long period of time. Right. And um, now everybody, I, I saw a 16-year-old talking exactly about, a 16, 17-year-old talking exactly what you were talking about. It's behind the next shoulder press, and this is a, a, an analogy for all exercise, uh -huh. but he was going, like what you said, that is terrible for you. Dude, you're 16. You yeah. don't even drive yet. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. holy cow. No, yeah. All we did was behind yeah. that. Uh -huh. In front of the neck wasn't even a thing uh -huh. when I started lifting. Mm -mm. It was it was because I come from a powerlifting background. You're a, if you did it in front. Okay. Only only a beast did it behind. Yeah. And so it was, it was even yeah. more so. It was like yeah. tease him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you're right. It, it's... So and again, I don't want to get stuck on behind the neck press because yeah, well, everybody has their point of view, but it's about how do you talk to them today, and to these kids, okay. and, and say, all right, you've got to now uh, teach yourself who to listen to, because that's a big thing. They only listen to the guys with the most following, uh, the most See, articulate. So that's a point that needs to be made is everything is marketing. So people are coming up with vegetables or horrible fruit. Yep. Yeah. It, and, and it's all a marketing it's scheme. Cool. It's all yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. heard yeah. it. I heard so it was I bad. You to yeah. Stop. Yeah. It's bad for you. Right? If I get you to stop your scroll by saying, don't do this. I got to turn it stupid. <laughs> Here's the hook. Exactly. It's a hook. Story calls. Yeah. That's all it is, man. So whoever can have the best hook. Even if it goes against, you know, what we know is. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I also yeah. find that it can be a little diluted from the perspective of. Before your resume was your physique. If you look a certain way, uh, that's what I want to listen to. Yeah. That's what I want to yeah, yeah. At. Great, I understand it. I, part of me truly believes that. But there are some individuals out here who may not have the best physique, but have a wealth of knowledge, but they don't have the credibility within their physique. And I think the science training now that you see the rise in that, where guys are very technical, this, that, and the third. But we came from the school where Get your ass in and just lift and work out. So it, again, I'm so not in the interview of some of these young kids that they have no idea who to listen to. Man, if you listen to the guy with the amazing body that maybe just relies on drugs and his physique, or do you listen to the guy that looks like nothing you desire to be but has a wealth of knowledge? So you have to use your critical thinking skills and more importantly, apply the information to your training and then come up with a conclusion on how you should approach your training. And I think that's the Which is how all experiment works, right? even in the actual chemistry department, whatever science it is, you have a theory. And then based on this theory, you apply. And then from there, you see what happens as far as the turnout goes. Mm -hmm. If you can duplicate this, this is fact. If you can't, it's antidote. So how can you discredit someone who has applied the studies to themselves and done it to someone else and someone else and someone else? This is no longer antidote, I can duplicate this. And if anyone knows and understands this, it's a bodybuilder who's done it to the last month, to the last week the last hour on that Saturday morning. But you're gonna tell me the guy who just studied this book over here can debunk all that has been done and apply? Can you add and improve upon the design? Sure enough, we've done it all the time. The wheel was one of those examples I said. The wheel started off as a stone, and then we made it a little more round, and we lightened the materials, and we used something like wood, then we wrapped it with rubber, and we put air in that. What we've done is we've improved upon this rudimentary design. But we didn't scrap the design and start with something else. So let's stop trying to discredit or debunk and let's build upon. And if anything, we might find out there's multiple ways to get to this outcome. But we all have the same outcome of desire, which is health and the appearance. 
why is there this weird infighting on who's gonna do it best? Because like you said a second ago, we're trying to fight for who's gonna get the most attention because they're gonna be dollars. The same way the news does it. Something that shock you, hook you, if you watch long enough, I got my money, commercial, drop that 30 second commercial, cool, got you again, 30 second commercial, cool, got you again. Same when it comes to our platforms. You're trying to hook someone. And these kids will go to any extreme to do so. Some girls will put on wedgie pants and put a camera, crotch shot. Some guys will do some crazy behind hook to get you to stop and pause. But I'm trying to make money off this. They told you on the algorithm. We're, we're taking on this platform, so get paid for it. To what links will you sell yourself to grow this platform? You know what I mean? If you are confused about training, do not worry. That's what the Titan training plan is for. For you guys to subscribe to this plan, you also get the additional coaching from me in the Titan private group. Get in there today, and I cannot wait to start working with you and making your dreams come true. Let's get back to the show. With, you know, with an exercise application, all we gotta do is walk out this door and look at all of the different body types. In motion. In motion, and then you look at each one and assess the movement patterns and go, this is going to work for you. Mm -hmm. So there's no one size fits all model that these people are trying to suggest is, don't do this. Mm -hmm. This is not good for you. How do you know what is me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you have no idea what my shoulders yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mobility or lack yeah. of mobility. Yeah, yeah. Is there such thing as bad technique and form? Yeah, perhaps. But I would be very cautious to judge it because you don't know that person's structure or their range of motion or their yeah. ability. Yeah. Uh, you know, a few years ago, people were very, very harsh on. Uh, uh, short range of motion, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, that's things like that. Yeah, it's like maybe you don't understand their technique and what they're doing. Uh -huh. They don't want to lose the contraction on the muscle, they want to keep it there. But you guys are like, certain guys are so, uh, certain influencers or YouTube are so critical for marketing, clout, that they lead with those don't do these, but not understanding the move. I'm never going to tell anyone to do this. Do what works for you. You guys just pump. said something. Both of you just said, you guys all saying this is set to, at least I'm picking this up, is that as soon as you become the guy on social media, uh, talking about the other individuals and this is bad and all that, is it because they ran out of material and they don't have anything? That's Why, it. For right. example, it's, it's, people talk about me a lot. I get that. And it's fun. Um, but they're talking about me because maybe I've been in this a long time. And, and so it's interesting when I see that compared to the guy going, this is what works for me. This is what we're doing. And, and I do this with my client. It, it's yeah. a much more subtle thing, but I, I really like the, <laughs> I like the guys who go, you like you and I. We we like behind the next shoulder press. You can do it. You don't do it. If you don't want to do it, fine. You know, this, I'm a hundred years old, and I'm still doing this, and I have fun with it. And it keeps me healthy. Yeah. Right. Right. But I don't need to go out and I guess yell at everybody else. Going, you guys are idiots. Yeah. You're, you're doing you're doing your shoulders wrong. Yeah. Do it just like me. Yeah. I don't care if you do or don't. Well, people get caught up in their messaging and then they feel stuck in it and you they stretch for more information. Like I love the guy online, Eddie you right now is really blowing up on TikTok with all this, you know, this is bullshit, don't eat this, don't eat that. And I'm watching, I'm like, when is he gonna run out of the same content yeah. and move right. on to something else? So it's okay to say, you know what? Man, I was watching this guy at the gym do, again, reverse neck, shoulder press. It's it, it fine, great. Yeah. You know, it, like let go of some of the need to hold on to a message. Yeah. You know, I've, I've corrected myself many times yeah. over the last four decades. Yeah. I've learned and grown. Admit it. Admit it. When I was in school, to get girls, it was a faux pas. It was an absolute social faux pas to use this guy's name to get her. Oh, man, he sucks. Man. He's a womanizer and he has a little pee pee. She looked like. Yeah, are you using talking him? About me just now. Are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you using him to get me? We didn't do that. We literally used our own. Hey, I am Ron. Right. I got this, this, and this to offer. This is who I am. You decide on what I'm giving you. You're not deciding on me because I'm telling you why you don't want him or bashing him. I got my own stone. I'm selling myself. Mike has so much material that there's so much to sort through, I can choose anything I want to, to harp on what I want to have content come from. Oh, you did say this at one point in time, I run with it. And his whole careers that have been erected 
off of this man's career. And to me, it's really crazy. Shameful about another man to build a career off another man. That is so wow. It's that time again to get my blood work done to see where my numbers are. Again, the one big thing for me is I'm keeping track of it. It's so precise. You know, I competed in bodybuilding and powerlifting and martial arts, but that was all over decades ago. And so how can I continue to keep this physique and be this strong at this stage? And so that is by optimizing my health with Titan Medical. It all stems from one thing, your blood work, what's going on inside of you. And that's the main thing that I'm focused about to see how I can continue to not just be in the game. I don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna be a weekend warrior. I don't wanna say you got a dad bod. I wanna be the pinnacle of the health and fitness industry decades after I competed. And I've always said this too, you got so many of these guys that were with me in the 80s and 90s and they keep putting the pictures up from the 80s and 90s. I don't want to be that guy. I like the fact that I can still put up pictures of me today, even though I won the universe back in the 90s. That's the goal for me. I don't know what your goal is, but I can tell you this. I know you want to live, and I know you want to live your best life, and that starts with blood work. Over at Titan Medical, start today. Think about when they come up, and it's like that, or grandfather, this is what you did. Commenting or re reacting on another man, so your platform is man? built on another oh, man. Yeah. Right? But again, we are from a different age where we came up. You couldn't say anything crazy or derogatory without there being a level of consequence. Yeah, right. right. Yep, yep, yep. Right. 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 I see that, right. man. Right. I know if I say something out of line, there could be potential. Potential. Are we talking about trolls? Repercussions. Yeah. Keep it out. I think we're talking about trolls. I think we're talking about social media people. I think we're talking about the news. We're talking about life. We're talking about. It's all out. It's all microcosm. Yeah. These are all microcosms in our world. Yeah. And we're really all, like he said a second ago, we grew up with social consequences. Mm -hmm. I can talk about what you about Mike, and then one day come on the corner and there he goes. Yeah. But for some, they never lived in that world. There was a point in time where I would only see certain people at certain events. So perhaps you might, or some people just never even appear in the real world. If you notice in these events, some people don't appear. They only exist in this theoretical internet space, right. but they dare not sit down and walk amongst the real men. Because I might say to you, I'm not trying to fight you, I might say to you in your face, square on, what's going on bro, how are you? And now you got to deal with the primal of a man looking you dead in your face. Are you going to cowardice? <laughs> Everyone can see it. Or are you going to stand on, stand on your business and say, yeah, I said it. And I think you're dumb for still doing it. Yes. <laughs> There's a thread too with this, right? Like right. every guest that's been in here has had that same energy of it's in there. And, and when, like, you see these looks, it's like, oh, sh yeah. he can go there. Right? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think love that. Now, one person that. that we sat down with, yeah. and again, I don't know why. One was we were talking about setting up this. I'm going to jump off of this for a second, just because of these individuals, and it's like. They're all that peaceful warrior. Yeah, yeah. They're all yeah, very but kind. you see the switch. You yeah, see the switch. <laughs> yeah, you got to have that switch. Yeah. You got to have that. And this, I'm just so old school that I, I, I miss that. Yeah, I miss that kind I of. I think what's more alarming is the young men, and young individuals that are consuming that content. You're literally raising up a generation I think it's a of pain. haters, right? Yeah. Soft men, right? It, and, it's, and it's very alarming to us because we come from a different place where we stood on our masculinity. We didn't talk about other, I don't care about anyone else and focus on me, but YouTubers and other fitness employers, this is how they make their money. So part of me, it's like, I'm never going to tell anybody how to make their money. But as a man, I watch this type of content, the reaction content, critiquing other people, the natty or not. It's very alarming to me the young men that are consuming it. They don't. They they challenge us in the sense of the message we're sending out. We, we're all about positivity, but they're sending out this negative message that literally these young men don't even have any foundation where to start. You told them that they can't achieve things if, unless they do this, that, and the third. It's completely absurd. Mm -hmm. So these young men are going to be so lost by the time they become fully functional adults mm -hmm. when it comes to fitness.